All right, today we'll be talking about soil temperature for peanuts. I'm Chris Balkan with the Crop Soil Environmental Sciences Department at Auburn University, and uh, just appreciate the opportunity to get to speak to y'all today. Uh, here we're going to talk about different factors that affect soil temperature. Uh, number one, the air temperature, the different soil types, the amount of soil moisture that's in the soil, uh, whether you have a cover crop or not, and the type of tillage that you do. Uh, the air temperature uh, is important to look at on extended range forecast before planning to ensure that you have consistent uh, air temperatures. A cold front could reduce the soil temperatures below suitable levels, uh, resulting in plant stands uh, that would be reduced and possibly having to go in and replant. Uh, different soil types and the amount of soil moisture uh, can be affected by the fluctuations in air temperature, such as a cold front, how it affects those soil types differently. Sandy soils warm up faster than a clay or loamy soils do. However, they uh, do turn drop to uh, uh, have a drop in temperature uh, faster from, from the cold front passing through. This is because the coarse textured sandy soils have a lower water holding capacity than a finer textured clay soil does. So moisture is slow to react to the temperature change. Therefore, clay soil with plenty of soil moisture is slower to warm up but is more stable and less likely to drop from a cold front passing through. Um, cover crops and tillage affect the uh, soil temperature by um, the cover crops keep the soil cooler longer in the springtime by blocking the sun rays from hitting the soil and, uh, and in turn, you know, there's not any tillage going on. So where you do have a tillage, uh, you, you're stirring that soil so it warms it up quicker, exposing the uh, soil to more direct sunlight, causing it to warm up faster. Uh, you can determine soil temperature different ways. Uh, we recommend for planting peanuts, the four inch average soil temperature is recommended to be 68 degrees for three consecutive days, followed by extended range forecast that is open and consistent weather so it can maintain that temperature. Uh, the soil temperature could be monitored through the AWIS Mesonet website uh, from research stations that report all across the state, uh, or you could use a digital soil thermometer there in your field that records the high and low temperature each day uh, you could just measure that at four inch depth at midday, which could represent a close representation of the average temperature for that time. You could also, you don't have to have a digital one, you could go out there and just physically go out and monitor and check the uh, soil temperature at that four inch depth by using a uh, traditional thermometer such as this. Uh, for years, uh, the four inch soil temperature was recommended for planting peanuts at 65 degrees for three consecutive days. And uh, we changed that recently due to studies that were done at the University of Georgia, well in cooperation with Auburn University. So uh, they raised that four inch soil temperature to 68 degrees. Uh, for the reason being that the study showed that there was about a 70% germination after one week at 65 degrees compared to 90% germination after one week at 70 degrees. So that little bit of uh, increase in, in temperature made a huge difference in the amount of peanuts that were germinated. So just remember these factors about soil temperature at peanut planting time to ensure yourself a good solid stand of peanuts to avoid the possibility of having a less desirable stand and forcing you to in a replant situation. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you. Okay, hey Chris. Yes. How come they didn't make it three days at 70 degrees? Why did they pick 68? I guess because, you know, there when you look at the timing, um, most times, um, that you know, not knowing that the farmers are going to jump out there and plant early anyway, <laughs> and stress. I guess that's the reason why when they showed that temperature range at seventy, uh, it, it it it's really hard for a lot of people to wait out there that much longer. Uh, you know, because for years we've planted at sixty five, and when you can see that difference there by waiting, when you see it at sixty eight. Uh, there we're only you know that's three degrees warmer than the 65 and two from 70. Generally when you see it and you wait to there we're continuing to warm up there anyway and by the time they get going and started it's it's, it's 70 degrees then essentially anyway. Uh, that's mainly just drawing attention to that for them to see that difference the huge benefit in the increased germination therefore making them hold back just a little bit longer to ensure ourselves that we're on that warming trend. 